over here. Okay. Another thing to keep in mind, you should not forget basic geometry rules. So for example, the hypotenuse is always the longest side in right triangles. Another example, the inequality rule of triangles. Folks, I can't tell you how many times I see this rule put into play as a hard question rule toward the end of math sections. This is the easiest thing in the world, but so many students forget it. So I want to take a look. Here's your hard math pro tip. We're going to talk about a very, very useful techniques for this sort of thing. So when asked about the possible triangle side lengths in a given triangle, do this. So let's say you get a question that sounds like I have a triangle and it's two of its sides are 6 and 10. What are all possible lengths of the third side? Well, we have this in X, which I've designated as the third side, surrounded by two less than symbols. That's what you're going to write on your paper. You're going to draw yourself the triangle, label the sides up, write the X, and then write the less than signs around it. You add the sides you have. You put the sum over here, 16. You subtract them. You put the difference over here, that's 4. You've now found the possible range of side lengths for your third side. It's got to be between 4 and 16. It cannot equal either of those numbers. And once again, this shows up constantly as a hard problem on the SAT. A hard problem concept. Easiest thing in the world if you do it like this. So can I get a yes from everyone if, uh, if everyone's with me? You guys understand what I'm talking about? Great. Excellent. OK. So, well, Brandon, um, just keep in mind when, when you have a triangle, so I'll draw out another triangle, and this will be actually a useful, a useful exercise for everyone else. Um, 